All right, everyone, welcome back to the boys' chat. You've got Tanner, Darren, and Colby here with you today. Uh, I'm doing a virtual one. Hope you all enjoy it. And uh, we're going to be today, we're going to be doing a fast food tier list. All right, and so play along with us. Um, so, first off, the tiers are personal favorite S, A, B, C, D, and F, kind of the normal go to tiers there. We'll go through. We'll discuss them. We'll decide where they're going to be. Majority rules. So if we have a slight disagreement, majority wins. And then as we're going through, if you guys have a personal favorite, just let me know and I'll shoot it straight into the personal favorite tab. And there'll be no discussion on it because bada bing, bada boom, personal favorite. Fair enough. All right. Let's jump right into this. Let me share my screen. All right. So first up, we have Arby's. How do y'all feel about Arby's? I, I feel like that's like a C or a D. Like that's pretty middle ground for me. Like if somebody suggests it and we haven't figured something else to go, I'd say, yeah, let's go to Arby's. But it's not going to be like, oh, where are we going? Oh, let's go to Arby's. Like mm -hmm. I feel like it's a decent choice, but it's not above anything else. It's not your first I choice. If there was anything lower than F. Oh, oh really? Not a fan. <laughs> I, the fries, I mean, the fries are I mean, good. The fries are good. That's what I was gonna say. The fries redeem it. I'd meet you at a D if you want to meet there, Colby. Well, I'll meet you there on that one. That All that's right. a fair assumption on that one. I agree. The, the fries are it's redeeming. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but just like the, it's like wanting to be, like a McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King. But it also kind of wants to be like a subway, like a sandwich place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, know. I, I don't go that much. Maybe that's the reason. But I feel like all the meats are just like different colors, but it's yeah. the same flavor. You know? Mm -hmm. Oh my! I well again, I think it goes back to like the fries because it like sits in the bag or whatever, and like it's cooked right next to it. So it, I think it just gets all together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I kind of feel like that with mcdonald's with the uh, nuggets and the fries because they're just so like salty mm -hmm. but oh you're like changing up textures but the flavors <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> all right all right so d i think that's solid <clears throat> all right let's go to jack in the box i cannot remember the last time i had jack in the box it's been so i actually really really like it when i go <laughs> okay yeah, I don't know the last time I went. I heard they have really good tacos, which is weird. It, it is weird. It, they're pretty good. All right, so Colby, <clears throat> since you have the most knowledge on it, where would you put it personally then? I, honestly, it's kind of that same tier as like Arby's. Like, would you say it's, it's above either right or below? There. I'd probably put it above Arby's in my opinion. I'd probably put it to the C. Like, C? Again, it, it's pretty average. It's not like it's way out there amazing, crazy good, but it's like, Oh yeah, like that was a decent meal. Like, I'm not gonna regret it later. Like, mm -hmm. but all right, all right. A and W. This is another one that I haven't had much at all. It's yeah. there is one here. It's in the same building so, as KFC, right? Yeah. It, well, A and W and KFC are owned by the same like company. Right. And so is Taco Bell. Yeah. Yeah, it's because they couldn't compete with uh, Coca-Cola. So Pepsi, who owns all these people, just whooped them together, right? Yeah, there there is a couple A&Ws. There's one out in Hurricane, too. Mm, that's right. Uh, yeah, then there's the one on the boulevard. Yeah. 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 Mm. Honestly. Uh, I, I'd probably put – go for it, Dan. No, I was just going to say I don't – don't know much about it. Like, I know I've eaten there on road trips, like, growing mm. up and everything, but – Nothing, nothing bad to say it, or to say about it. Probably about a C. Okay, I was gonna, I was gonna say a D, but I'll go C on it. Should we go? We'll go low C then. <clears throat> All right, Auntie Anne's pretzels. If these are the ones, are they the ones that they sell in the mall? Yeah, usually. Yeah. Same Sometimes. style. Well, Same then, style. I'd go up to like a A. Because the ones they sell in the mall here, I actually thoroughly enjoy the little uh, the pretzel bites. I actually yeah. really like. So I'm down with pretzel bites. They're good. I mm -hmm. it's like not really food. That's like a snack, you know. 
Yeah. yeah. But it's good. Mm-hmm. I, I think they do like hot dogs and stuff too, don't they? Or am I just imagining that? I feel, I, like, I feel like they do something I else. I feel like they do something else too, yeah. That, yeah. They do like cheese dip, right? Yeah. Is that a thing with pretzels? Lemonade for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just walked past it the other day. Should we go A? A tier? I'll go A. I'll go A on that one. A for Auntie Anne's. Mm-hmm. Auntie. Auntie. <laughs> All right. Uh, Boston Market. Never heard of it. Are they exclusively in Boston? I doubt it. I feel like if they're on this list, they kind of have to be a little bit more spread out than just Boston. Right. Let's Um, see. I want to say I've heard good things about it, but I've never had it, so. Oh, fresh rotisserie chicken meals, prime rib, cornbread, and more. That sounds good. That sounds, that sounds good. good to me. That sounds good. I <laughs> should we go B tier because we haven't had it, but is that what they got? It, yeah, it, it, it looks, looks like they, they looks like they got sold to somebody and they might be closing down. I don't, I don't. Oh. Know. That's just a quick Google search and a quick look that I saw. <laughs> mm-hmm. So based on the looks, what do you guys say? I I'd probably just put it at a B. It looks pretty good, but. Yeah. never had it i mean looks good it looks like it might be a little expensive as far as like fast food goes you know but like yeah if it tastes good enough right b for boston all boston. right Wait, what Nasty. do you guys talk about cornbread i love cornbread Ooh. yeah if it's good it's good if it's too dry then ugh, it's like a johnny cake bro johnny cakes are gross i like yeah. cornbread though cornbread's good so like my ward would have a like Christmas party like in a cul-de-sac every year, and so it'd be like super cold. People just make chili and cornbread, and that's like basically all it is. Mm-hmm. Growing up, I didn't like chili, so I would just gorge myself on cornbread. Like <laughs> once a year, I would just pound that like there was no tomorrow because like I was a <laughs> monkey boy, you know. So I was like, yeah. And yeah. then, yeah, just. Ever since then, I, I can't handle my cornbread anymore. <laughs> Dude, you, okay. The one you got to have is my mother-in-law's. She makes the best cornbread. Any southern food you can think of, she does good because she's from Louisiana. So she makes really, really good food. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Chicken cornbread. Oh, yeah. Red okay. beans and rice and cornbread. Okay. Drop me the oh, Addy. I'm so okay. okay. Exactly. <laughs> nice. All right. Well. Let's move on. Burger King. Do you guys have anything redeeming to say about Burger King? I was actually talking about Burger King yesterday with Kara. Oh. Is that a yes then? So, have you ever had their Western burger? It's like, got the onion ring and the barbecue sauce. Yeah. I just really like Western burgers no matter where it's from. Every once in a while, I'm like, I just need a Burger King burger. And it's like, I have a craving. (laughs) And it hits the spot just right. Mm. But even while I'm eating it, I'm like, this isn't that good. But it hits the spot. And yeah. I don't understand it. But every once in a while, I'm just craving Burger King. So whatever you're going to say, bump it up a tier just for that. <laughs> I, I was going to put it in between like Jack in the Box and A&W, but that was just me. I actually really enjoy Burger King. It's not like okay. a personal favorite, but it's pretty good in my opinion. Yeah. I was going to put it at a C. I know Tanner despises no, it. I, so. <laughs> I, every time I've tried it, it's always just like, this is, it's okay. You're just a picky eater, Tanner. Just I'm minute. not though. I'm not. No, no, no. no. Hold up. <clears throat> Me and Logan growing up always used to just dog on Burger King, right? And my dad asked us like, have you guys ever had a Whopper? Have you ever actually eaten like Burger King's go-to burger? And we're like, no, we have never done it, you know, because we had Big Macs before. Never had a Whopper. We go and get one. I'm like, this was not worth the the money. Like maybe back in the, you know, in the eighties when it was five cents. Yeah, sure. Grab yourself a Whopper. Not good. I'd I'd rather have a Whopper over a Big Mac. Whopper, Whopper, Whopper. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Hold up now. Their commercials are pretty good. (laughs) Their commercials. I'm okay with a mid C right there. I'm good with that. But I'll, I'll, uh, I'll buy that because their I, commercials are pretty good. So I remember after a lacrosse game in Vegas when we all went to Canes and you were like, 
on your anti-chicken fix. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like walked across the parking lot to uh, Burger King, and I was like, <laughs> "Bummer!" And he just like came back in the locker. <laughs> I miss- that's the only time I could ever say you ate Burger King, but I remember you going there. <laughs> and he- he's being psychotic for going to Burger King over Canes. Uh, like, come on! And we're all just loving Canes. We're like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, uh, now I'm poor and chicken's cheap, so I eat chicken. Yeah. Yo, so is turkey. If you're making hamburger help or anything, turkey yeah. instead of beef, mm-hmm. save a mm-hmm. couple bucks. Yeah, I like turkey bacon. Turkey bacon's pretty good. Don't skip that bacon, dude. Camping. Uh, I, right. I feel like I feel like the turkey shows through a little too much on turkey bacon. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't it's not skip like turkey out on sausage. Bacon. You can you can do turkey sausage. Yeah. I'll, I'll, Don't yeah. even Because if you, if you're putting turkey sausage into something, chances are you're adding a sauce or other things to it. Like if, if you do it like in a lasagna or in some type of sauce. So really the the turkiness comes out or gets hidden by the other flavors. So it's like it's healthier, but you don't get the taste. Yeah. All right. For your bacon, do you go thick cut or just like the regular? You know, it depends because, like, I'll make goulash and sometimes thick bacon's better in it because it's, it's kind of gets thinned out a little bit with everything else in it and stuff. But, like, just to eat straight bacon, I actually like thin bacon to eat. Because it gets, but, like, like, a little crispier, right? Yeah. yeah. But I also oh. like it on the undercooked side sometimes, too. I, I go either way with bacon. I love bacon. Okay. That's what you're getting for your birthday. Awesome. Just- Package of bacon is a pound of bacon. <laughs> You're gonna wonder how long it's been there if it's still safe to eat. <laughs> I'll eat it anyways. <laughs> oh, all right, let's move on. All right, uh, checkers. I have never eaten out of checkers, but they do sell their fries at Walmart, the frozen, just like Arby's, right? And their fries are pretty good. I had them last oh. night, they're pretty good. I've, I've seen those at Walmart, checkers. they're good, they're like seasoned fries. And they're good. So, crazy good food. I'm not sure what style. I want to say it's burgers. Yeah, it's a drive-in. Like, burgers, chicken uh, tendies. All fries, right. obviously. So, I mean, just based on their fries alone, I don't know how the rest of their food is. But, I mean, their fries are like an A, low A, high B tier. I'll, I'll take your word for it. I've never had it or even heard of it. So, you look at them up there. Like Dairy Queen vibes, but like a mm. little bit fancier, you know? Like they put a like little Freddy's? bit of the flavor. Mm. Is it like a Freddy's? Just the logo kind of gives me that vibe of yeah. Freddy's. Or like an iceberg. Nicer iceberg. Yeah, I mean, yeah. 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 I, well, like, if that type of food, and if they do that type of food good, then. Yeah. The seasoning on those fries is looking impeccable, so I'm like... It's so good, dude. I'm putting that B tier because we haven't had it, but their fries are pretty good, so... Yeah. Yeah, solid. All right, Chick-fil-A. Superior. I freaking I love Chick-fil-A. You know, I, I, wouldn't put it, I wouldn't put it as, like, my favorite, but it's up, It's pretty high up there, in my opinion, just Let's because see. of the service alone. Mm-hmm. I was going to see what you were going to say on that. Can I see the whole list real quick? Because Chick-fil-A yeah. might be my number one. Yeah. Your favorite? Yep. All right. I, I'm, I don't think – I'm at least not going to argue with you on that one at all. So mm-hmm. I, I think Chick-fil-A is phenomenal. So. All you right. Think it's- what? Did you say you think it's phenomenal? Yeah, it's not bad. Their spicy crispy chicken sandwich is pretty good. No, what what you do with that is you get the buffalo sauce and you throw mm-hmm. the buffalo sauce all over it and you make sure you get pepper jack cheese on it. That yeah, you do like delicious. the deluxe too. No, okay. just you just add cheese. Don't um, don't get a deluxe. You just add I cheese. Mean, it's better. Pay for that tomato. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I get rid of the tomato. <laughs> yeah, their lemonade's pretty good too. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. So with their uh, frosty lemonades, if you don't drink it fast enough, like the sourness, the citrus yeah. starts to curdle the milk. 
So mm-hmm. it starts to taste a little funky. Gross. All right. Um, Chipotle. I don't care for it. Every time I've had it, it just doesn't sit well with me. I, I don't mind it. I mean, I, again, I'm not probably going to put it over anything else on that list, but I don't mind it. Like, I'll go there and eat, so. I'll put it over Burger King, but. Yeah, I'd maybe go B on that. Okay. I'm down with Chipotle. Also for Matt, I feel like we can't rank it too low. I know he's yeah. a fan. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, it's like one of those places that's like iconic, kind of. Mm-hmm. You know, it's everyone's like, oh my gosh, Chipotle, Chipotle, Chipotle. It's like a big thing, so. All yeah, right. You guys see that? TikTok dude, he went and got like he overlapped four tortillas on top of each other to wrap all of this burrito together. Wow. And like it ended up costing like eighteen bucks or something, not even that much. And I was like, Oh might need to do that. What was that? Might need to do that. That freaking might go over really well. (laughs) All right. All right, let's uh let's speed through some of these. We've we've kind of slowed down a little bit. Cinnabon. I like cinnamon, uh, Cinnabon. It's decent. I mean, i probably put it at like a B. You think yeah. low or high B? Mm, low. I, mean, I low guess we just go. Not a food, you know? Yeah. I mm. don't think it's Auntie Anne's. It's a snack. Yeah. All right. All right, Jimmy John's. I'm a sucker for sandwiches, so it's pretty high up there for me. Again, not a, I'm not going to put that as a personal favorite. But... Their ranch, though, their kicking ranch is pretty good. It is pretty good. I think the only thing that knocks Jimmy John's down is they don't toast their sandwiches like other places do. Yeah. Because like a toasted Subway sandwich, if you get the right sandwich at Subway and toast it, super good. Jimmy John's doesn't do that. But if I'm gonna pay for a sandwich, I'm paying for a warm sub. You know. Yeah. (laughs) That's like. But as as far as but as far as like a cold sub goes, and with how fast they usually are, I've had to wait quite a bit for them. But I used to order at work, and you know it was a couple minute drive away from the nearest one. I would have it and be eating it within five minutes of me ordering. A couple yeah. times, I was like, "Oh wow!" And they threw in a couple free cookies, free drinks. They made some free chips a couple times. So their chips are freaking delicious. Their chips are pretty good. Yeah, it's because they're extra crunchy. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I say either high B or low A. I. I'd almost put it above Auntie Anne's personally, but yeah, I'd give it an A. Okay, should we go above Auntie Anne's because it's it's more of like a meal than just a snack. Yeah. Okay. All right. DQ. That's a B for me. I mean, again, I go go to DQ over like Jack in the Box and those places, but mm-hmm. it's not really above those other ones we have. So I'd put it at a high B. High B. Darren, you got anything opposing to that? I agree with yeah, that. Yeah, that. I'd probably do Chipotle before Dairy Queen, honestly, but it's yeah, we'll a move, pretty, pretty equal. We'll move Chipotle up like that. And I see, like, Dairy Queen for the ice cream's good. For the food, though, like, I've gone just for the food before, but it's like, you got to be in the mood for it, you know? Yeah. Well, you get you get the chicken tenders box, and then you get Texas toast. I freaking love Texas toast. Yeah, true. I yeah, just love my coffee. tenders are the best thing they got going for them. I always go for the burger, and I always regret it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dunkin' Donuts. I'm a sucker for donuts, but I couldn't tell you last time I had Dunkin' Donuts. Their breakfasts are pretty good. Yeah. Like, traveling is the only time I've done Dunkin', but so I give it a high seat. High seat. High seat, just because I don't go often enough to yeah. justify anything more. Yeah. Right. All right, I, What is? what even is this? I have no you guys idea. know what that is? No. We'll just move it on down, and if we get to it later, we get to it later. Okay, El Pueblo Loco. I put it right there with Arby's. Like, I got to be in the mood for it, and we'll go above it's Arby's not my first choice. Mexican. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's been a long time since I had it, but when I do remember eating it, it was, it was decent. Yeah. Right. I'm like never disappointed when I go, but I never go looking for it, you know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's other better Mexican joints. Right. Yeah. So, all right. Five guys. Overpriced and overrated. I, I, I honestly don't even know where to put it. Like 
their fries are pretty good, but it's just overpriced and way over. It is, it is pretty pricey. Yeah. It's way overpriced. If you're just looking at the food, I like their burgers. Mm-hmm. Can't justify going there very often though. Right. right. Same. I mean, the healthy option, you know, cause it's peanut oil, but granted, if you've got a peanut allergy, you walk in, you're probably going to die. Probably. So <laughs> there's peanuts on the ground. <laughs> Um, I'd probably go there before Jack in the Box, though. For sure, I'd go B or A. Honestly, it's still pretty, pretty. Hey, we'll, go, we'll go above D, DQ, just because it's like you know, peanut allergy. You're gonna die. Yeah, All right, um, Hardee's, which is the same thing as Carl's Jr., I believe. Yeah, it's the same company. Yeah, I actually, I, I actually really enjoy Hardee's. Like, mm-hmm. I I put it right there by like Jack in the Box. Kind of that same level of food, in my my opinion, but I concur. Okay. All right. In and out. That's I think it's name. overhyped, at least here. Oh. The one in St. George <laughs> is not the greatest compared to other places. If you go to, you know, California, Southern California, it's better there. I just think the one here isn't as good as everyone's like, oh my gosh, in and out, let's go. It's so good. Like, it's not, though. It's not. I enjoy it. I mean, yeah, I, I used to not love it. If you asked me like a year or two ago, mm-hmm. wouldn't have anything good to say about it. But now I'm like, eh, I'm down you, with it. Their, yeah, shakes, their, their, their food is good. It's just like, I remember one time in high school, we went, we finished a burger and I'm like, I'm still like really hungry. And their fries That's are you like, get the animal so style. Thin, you know? No, I, in high school, I was doing a double double. I do a double double now. Fills me up. I know stomach sizes can change, but I feel like I don't know. Maybe they're they're packing protein into the cows now before they slaughter them or something. Because I mean, you think back, you think back in high school. You know, we were a little bit more active than we are now. Yeah, that's true. That's fair so. enough. Yeah, that metabolism was peaking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what are you guys thinking? Uh- by five guys is kind of where I was thinking, but yeah, we'll go above. It maybe moves into a, all right. Jersey Mike's again, it's a sub shop. Personal favorite. Personal favorite. Really? I love Jersey Mike's. I freaking love that place. All right. No argument there. Okay. KFC. That, that's another one I got to be in the mood for. Like, I think there, there's better chicken joints for it. I think there's better yeah. chicken. It's, like, it's an American classic, but true. when was the last time anybody chose to go there? Yeah. There was one time Cam was sick, and she really wanted their mashed potatoes, I think. Because she really wanted mashed potatoes, but we didn't have the stuff to make them. And she, like for whatever reason, wanted KFC mashed potatoes. Okay. So. I, I'd put it by like okay. A&W or... El Pollo Loco. I mean, we'll go. We'll go. We'll go above Burger King. <laughs> I'll go with that. I'll go with that. All right, Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme has some pretty good donuts. I freaking love donuts. Krispy it's Kreme. good for soft food. I'm thinking up here next to Auntie Anne's. I guess I'll buy I've that. Done donuts for breakfast. I've done that. Okay. Okay. I'll get donuts just because I don't freaking care. That too. That too. <laughs> All right. Bacon and donuts. That's how Kobe's getting for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Dude, bacon covered donuts. Come on, man. All right. Uh, be Long John Silver's. Never been. Tell- it's a fish joint. Yeah, I can yeah. tell you last time I was there. Honestly, I mean, I put it below Arby's. I don't put it in an F, but okay. I feel like Our- fast deep fried. Seafood? Yeah. You're all on the dice. Yeah. If it's good, awesome. But when it's bad, it's like bad, bad. Yeah. <laughs> all right. My personal favorite, McDonald's. <laughs> no discussion. Just because no discussion. it, when you want it, hits the spot and you don't regret it until later. Not while you're eating it. It's later that you regret it. But even then, man. All right. Panda Express. That's Wait, an A for me. On McDonald's, I don't think I told you this. When we were traveling, like in Europe, we actually ate there a decent amount just because we were like, look at the budget and we're like, huh, what's yeah. cheap? 
and we wanted to like try it in different countries right. italian mcdonald's is like yeah they're like up there super uh-huh. good and then in greece it was like slightly below american so yeah those are the two i know countries. they have like different menus um for different places like i want to say in japan they have like sushi well it, even menu? in hawaii in hawaii they oh. like serve rice on the side and stuff too yeah so i mean they, they do great marketing and catering towards their markets so yeah all right so we put panda express at a that's good uh panera bread here we gotta we gotta quickly go through the rest of these real fast so panera bread never been i i think it's pretty good i'd put it like a b middle of the b by like chipotle or something okay yeah popeyes i love popeyes but i love chicken so do you got anything against it darren no i can go b or c on that probably let's go let's go b well right there i guess yeah that's a good one um quiznos quiznos i would put it in the c for a sub a subs joint, I don't like it very much, but Gosh, I've never had it. All right, well, Canes. You just love food. Huh? You just love food. You were like, I'm a sucker for chicken. I love subs. <laughs> Bacon, donuts. <laughs> I mean, I'm such a sucker. It's it's so surprising to me. I'm not like bigger. Because I love yeah. food so much and I just sit there and eat any, any, any. <laughs> <laughs> all right i put canes and s tier i think we can all Done. agree with that Easy. so yeah all right sonic it's got to be in the mood i mean i'd put it at like the top of the c tier like right. i don't go there often enough i concur okay uh steak and shake i've probably only been there once and it was, it was pretty good, good. sounds yes, good we'll put it Put it like right. We'll put it like uh, right there. Yeah. Subway. I think Subway's S tier. I'll go with that. Yeah. Just because the warm subs, because the warm subs puts it above Jimmy John's, and they're everywhere. I think I want to say Subway is the. Uh, it has the number one most locations in the United States as far I as mean, fast food four, go. There's four in Cedar, <laughs> and yeah. Cedar doesn't have two of anything. There's like yeah, they're, they're everywhere. At least seven in St. George. Holy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because there's one in what? All the Walmarts here. The two or three Walmarts here. Then they got a bunch of standalone restaurants everywhere else. Uh-huh. So they're everywhere. All right. Taco Bell. I think it's another one of those. You got to be in the mood for it. I'd put it like a B or a C. I've been coming around to it recently, honestly. So I'd. Same. I'd go B on that. Yeah. We'll go high B. Where do you guys think we should put it? I'd put it below five guys. Okay. Because it's one of those like in the mood things again. And when it hits, like it hits. Yeah. All right. Wendy's. I've gone back good. and forth about how much I like Wendy's. It, it, it's a good B option. I feel like there's that's a good lot of, around. I feel like there's a lot of grease in the food. Like when I eat it, I'm like dripping grease off my hands when I eat like Sometimes. the Dave's double or something. What you gotta do, biggie bag. That's true. The yeah. biggie bag is, is a bust. You upgrade High that to a medium and it fills you. Do we do A tier? I go A. I'll buy we'll that. Go, we'll go we'll go right there. I think that's pretty good. All right. Um I don't know what this one is. Looks like a pretzel joint. Is that Wetzel Pretzel? No. Well, let's just look at what's left. What have you guys been to? Have you all been to Zach's Whataburger? Bees. I've never been to I haven't been to Whataburger. I know it's big in Texas. Don't know what that yeah. is. Never what been to White Cat. Mexico. It was like, it was pretty good. Like a step above Burger King. Kind of like between Burger King and McDonald's in my eyes. So would that shoot it to a B, you think? No. I think it's a good spot for it. Okay. Yeah, um, White Castle is another one I've heard of. I haven't been. I yeah. want to say they're chicken, though. No, they're they're burgers. They're burgers? Yeah. They might have chicken, but I know they got patties. Mm. 
Never been though. I've mm-hmm. never been to it. Neither have I. So let's leave it. Uh, I've been to Zaxby's, I believe. Yeah, Zach, Zaxby's pretty good. It it's a good substitute if you don't have a Canes. So it right. works out for me here in Cedar. So <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I'd put it like a high B. I'd put it above in and out. Yeah. All right. Um, which I, which is that last one? Okay. It's it's another sub. They can do hot subs, but it's just like it's expensive. It's mm-hmm. like the five guys equivalent. So where would you put it? B but low. All right, there I guess. Um, I don't have any experience with these other ones, so I guess we'll just leave it. Yep. Um, all right. I think those are some pretty good personal favorites. Do we want to move any? I think we're pretty good where we are. I, I think that was a good. I think that's a good up. little list. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you all for watching, uh, listening, doing all that stuff. Thank you for subscribing. If you aren't subscribed, just please click that helps us out. It's free. So why not? And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys next week and, uh, see you. Doses. Adios.